What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this right here. Some hatchery dust trout bait. Homemade. So here we go. Let's jump into it. I'll show you guys how it's made. Let's get to cooking. All you're going to need to make this is obviously the hatchery dust. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, some oats, just original oats, nothing special, and some garlic powder, just to give it some extra kick. All right, everyone, let's jump into it. Got our ingredients here. We need to mix them in the bowl. And what we're aiming for is a Play-Doh-like texture, so kind of thick, not too runny, something that's not going to stick to your hands. So let's do it. First off, we're going to start off with two-thirds of a cup of flour. Two-thirds of a cup of flour. We're gonna do a third a cup of oats, or almost a third cup, not quite. Let's see, I got a tablespoon here. Well, you know what, let's do like three tablespoons. Let's see how it looks from there. Now this stuff already has some sort of glitter in it. And I know it says it's got garlic. Yeah, it's the super garlic. I think we're gonna add a little more garlic. And I'm, you know, I'm just gonna add like half a tablespoon. Anyways, we're gonna mix that all together. Oh, you can smell it. You can smell that hatchery dust. You know what? We're not a little more. So I'd say four, you know what? Let's go with five. Five tablespoons of hatchery dust. There we go, that made it a little bit darker. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly add some water to it as we're mixing. Get it, like I said, that Play-Doh texture. Well, I added too much water. See how it's kind of sticky, almost runny in a way. So what you could do is you can just add a little more flour to it. So no big deal. All right, so I think that's pretty good. There we go. Got our ball of dough bait. On the inside, it's not too mushy. See you tear it apart, touch your fingers to it, doesn't stick. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it like it is and not do anything because the whole fucking water's not boiling. All right guys, now that we have the water simmering, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna break little pieces off. That size a little bit bigger than a marble and we're gonna throw it right in the water. Now you don't want the water boiling because if you overcook these, the uh, it just becomes really flaky when uh, after it's been in the refrigerator for a while. So yeah, don't overdo that. So just keep it at a low simmer and you'll be good. And we're only gonna leave them in there for maybe a minute, minute and a half or longer. And the reason why I like to cook them, they stay on the hook better because you could take it out there just like this, put it on your hook trouble hook whatever you got and yeah it might stay on there but chances are it's gonna fly off on the cast or after it's been sitting out there for a while cooking it well essentially does exactly what I said it's cooking it it's cooking the outside of it it's making the outside more dense so when you do go to like tear it in half after you get out there you know boom you got a little piece throw it on your hook it's gonna stay on there it's, it's gonna stay on there for longer so that's why I like to cook it anyways I'll finish this up and I'll bring you guys back all right guys, well these have been at a low simmer for about a minute and a half. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take them out of the water, slotted spoon, don't use your hands, fun fact. Anyways, let's get them out of here. We'll put them on a paper plate, a couple paper towels on it, let them dry off for a little bit, let them cool down. All right, now that they're all on the plate, <coughs> They're extremely hot. So we're gonna let them rest here on the counter for a while, probably 10, 15 minutes then. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place them in a little Ziploc bag 
you can label it whatever you want, you know, hatchery dough bait, uh, super garlic dough bait, whatever you want. All right, guys, it's time to throw these in the bag. We're gonna put these in the fridge, let them sit overnight. They're still a little warm, so I'll probably leave the bag cracked open a little bit, kind of let that moisture out. But anyways, in a nutshell, that's how you make it. If uh, you guys enjoyed the video, remember, you know what to do. Teabag the like button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the lake.